Ever wondered how the Earth became what it is now? Let's dive into the Earth's history using the geologic time scale. But first, what is the geologic time scale? The geologic time scale is the calendar for events in Earth history. It subdivides all time into named units of abstract time called eons, eras, periods, epochs, and ages. Now on to our Earth's history. The Precambrian time which started during the planet's creation around 4.5 to 4 billion years ago. It has been divided into three eons the Hadean, the Archaean and the Proterozoic eons. First was the Hadean eon which was considered as a chaotic eon. Because of how frequent meteorites constantly bombarded the Earth which also caused severe volcanic activities. During this time, the crust and core were stabilized and the atmosphere and ocean was formed. Next was the Archean Eon which was 4,000 to 2.5 million years ago. Here, the Earth's crust had cooled enough. This allowed the formation of continents and the beginning of life on Earth. Rocks like stromatolites were present. This is when the cyanobacteria, an aquatic and photosynthetic usually unicellular bacteria emerged. Lastly is the Proterozoic Eon which was 2.5 to 541 million years ago. The atmosphere and oceans changed significantly. The multicellular organisms started to appear. Proterozoic rocks contain many definite traces of primitive life forms such as the fossil remains of bacteria and blue-green algae. After the Precambrian time is the Phanerozoic Eon which covers 541 million years until now. It consists of three eras, the Paleozoic Era, Mesozoic Era and lastly the Kenozoic Era. The Paleozoic Era is the major interval of geologic time that began 541 million years ago with the Cambrian Explosion, an extraordinary diversification of marine animals, and ended about 252 million years ago with the end Permian Extinction. Starting off with the Cambrian period which was, 541 up to 485.4 million years ago. The Earth's cooler conditions eliminated many warm water species, and glaciation lowered global sea level but there was no significant ice formation. Chordates, brachiopods, arthropods were seen in this period. After the Cambrian period is the Ordovician period which was, 485.4 to 443.8 million years ago. The Earth's weather was warm and the atmosphere contained a lot of moisture. Scientists believed that the porifera, nidaria, gastropods, fossils were under this period. The third one is the Silurian period which was, 443.8 to 419.2 million years ago. The Earth's climate remained warm and stable. The supercontinent of Gondwana was still positioned over the South Pole but the vast ice caps of the late Ordovician period melted almost to nothing. Cooksonia and Eurypterus were born in this period. The fourth one is the Devonian period which was, 419.2 to 358.9 million years ago. The rapid erosion of the Earth's mountains contributed large amounts of sediment to lowlands and shallow ocean basins and the sea levels were high with much of western North America underwater. The marine Delaspis and Stashiophyton lived in this period. Next is the Mississippian period which was, 358.9 to 298.9 million years ago. During this period the cooling and drying of the climate led to the Carboniferous Rainforest Collapse CRC. In this period 96% of all vertebrates became extinct. The next is the Pennsylvanian period which was, 323.2 to 298.9 million years ago. In this period widespread swamps laid down the thick beds of dead plant material that today constitute most of the world's coal. Hylonomusa is a reptile that lived during this period but became extinct in this period. The last is the Permian period which was, 298.9 to 251.902 million years ago. The Gondwana, Laurasia, and Siberia, fuse with smaller continents to form the supercontinent Tengia. The Permian extinction is estimated to have wiped out more than 90% of all marine species and 70% of land animals. The era that followed was the Mesozoic era. It is known as the age of the dinosaurs and lasted almost 180 million years from approximately 250 to 65 million years ago. During this era the continents began to move into their present day configurations. The dinosaurs, pterosaurs, and ichthyosaurs were extinct in this era. The first period in the Mesozoic era is the Triassic period, 
an era that occurred 248 to 206 million years ago. Most of the continent was concentrated in the supercontinent, Pangaea, having a generally very dry climate, with hot summers and cold winters. Reptiles are very dominant. Next is the Jurassic period that extends from 201.3 to 145 million years ago. During this time, Pangaea was breaking up though the continents were still close together. Analyzes suggest that an expanded tropical zone was apparent. Archosaurs and pterosaurs were dominant. Cartilaginous and bony fishes were abundant. Large fishes and marine reptiles were also common. Jurassic plesiosaur are some of the largest carnivorous reptiles ever discovered. Lastly, Cretaceous period. It began 145.0 million years ago and ended 66 million year. Dinosaurs were the dominant group of land animals, especially duck-built dinosaurs and horned forms. The Cretaceous Paleogene KPG, extinction event was a sudden mass extinction of three-quarters of the plant and animal species on Earth with the exception of some ectothermic species. The last is the Cenozoic Era. It is the most recent era. It extends from 66 million years ago to the present day. The Earth's climate was hot and humid with lush forests at the poles. Wally mammoths were born in this era. The tertiary period covers Paleocene, Eocene and Oligocene epochs. It spans the interval between 66 to 23 million years ago. The continents headed toward their modern positions. Many of the animals that we know today evolved. Neogene period covers Miocene and Pliocene epochs. It encompasses the interval between 23 to 2.6 million years ago. The fossils found in the strata were more closely related to each other. This period gives rise to early primates and bovids flourished. The Quaternary period covers the Pleistocene and Holocene epochs. It is the most recent. It encompasses 2.6 million years ago to present day. It has been characterized by several periods of glaciation. During this period, the evolution of man was apparent.